The new neural filter called Harmonization is great for color matching two different images together. Let me show you how. Yes! We've all been in the situation where we're compositing and we've got to match the color temperature to the other scene. So I want to put these birds in this boat scene. Well, first let me select them and I'll use that new object selection tool, right? It's going to look automatically because object finder is automatically checked. See how it's spinning? It's trying to figure out the objects in my scene. It quits spinning once it's done. And then, well, there you go. It's found this one, this one, this one, and this one. There's a hover over them, you can tell. So I'm gonna click and then I'll hold the shift key and click on that one and hold the shift key and click on that one. And then what I wanna do is, let's just go to select and mask. I hold down the command and spacebar simultaneously to zoom in a bit. So I don't like that little halo, but I'm gonna show you how to get rid of it. First, I'm gonna output it to a new layer with layer mask, click OK. I'm gonna hit Command or Control Zero to fit in screen. And I'm gonna Alt or Option click on that mask. And I'm gonna zoom back in manually. So one of the things I can do is choose the brush tool, choose overlay blend mode, paint with black, and anything that's not 100% black will go black, but if it's 100% white, it's gonna stay white. You see how that's gonna get rid of that halo? Because that halo was gray. So I'm getting rid of that, cleaning up my mask. And we'll pan around because I think there were some more. These aren't that bad, maybe because they're so far away. That one's not that bad, Command Zero. So what I'm gonna do is just open this back up. I'm gonna pull this over to this layer, V for the Move tool. And let's say I'll put that bird right there and I'll duplicate the layer, hit Command T. Command zero to fit everything in the screen because I couldn't even see the corners here to shrink this down. And so now I'll shrink this down and try to position it so these birds are flying over here. Right away, I see that I don't like that bird, so I'm gonna get rid of it. And the way I'm gonna get rid of it is, is hit the B key and I'm on the layer mask, right? It's the most selected, right bracket key for bigger brush, and I'm just going to mask that bird out. If your tool doesn't work the way you think it should, check your toolbar. Ah, I need to be painting with normal at 100%, and now it should just totally go away. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit Command E, which is gonna say, what do you wanna do if you're merging these two layers? And I'm gonna say, well, apply the layer mask. And it, what it did is it threw away my layer mask, but do you notice how the color of the bird doesn't quite match this cool color? All I've gotta do is go over to Filter, Neuro Filters, I'm gonna choose harmonization and I'm going to select the layer. I want the background layer and look at the birds. Once it's processing on device, do you see how it made them more cool? Let me pull this over on this side. I can raise the strength to 100 so you can see what it does to them then. And I can adjust the different colors, the saturation and the brightness, but it tries to match them for me. And it put it on its new layer. Here's where we were. Do you see how the birds have kind of a yellow tinge and now they have a darker, more blue tinge? That's what it does is it tries to blend the images based on color and tone. Hey, if you like this video and it helps, you can help me. Smack it, whack it, and crack a lack it. Take care. I like subscribers. That's awesome. Whoa. Yes! <laughs> God. Oh my God, I did. This is Hey, you stayed to the end. You know what that means. You're awesome. I'm talking about you. Now get out of here.